Hey there beauty, I'm Felicity, the Fit Injector. Welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for coming to check out this video. Now I'm going to assume you're either brand new to injectables and you're in your research phase, or perhaps you have had some treatment and you want to be more educated prior to your next treatment. So what I want to help you with today are the things you need to know before having a dermal filler procedure. So for the things you need to know before having a dermal filler procedure, I'm going to break this down into three sections, pre-treatment, during treatment and post treatment. Now, if you're anything like my clients, they love to be super prepared. So if you do have a consultation with me in clinic here in Sydney, in this space right here, I go through all the things that you need to know. We talk about the treatment itself. We talk about the pre-care, what it's going to be like during and what to expect after. So pre-treatment, before your dermal filler procedure, what do you need to know? Number one is try and avoid alcohol or blood thinning medications for at least three days prior. Now blood thinning medications are things like Nurofen, Aspirin, fish oil. Now, unless these are prescribed, if you have a prescription for these, then absolutely continue. Do not stop. But it's really important that you let your injector know that you are on those medications. So your injector is prepared that you are going to be at an increased risk of bruising, and then they can prepare you for that as well. And on the note of bruising, if you are someone that is prone to bruising, you can start using the Arnica cream and the Arnica tablets prior to your treatment and you continue, can continue using those after your treatment. Now they are herbal based creams and tablets. Some people like to get both to have both bases covered and you can get those over the counter at your chemist. Now it's great if you can be conscious about staying hydrated. So keeping up that water drinking those few days prior to your dermal filler procedure keeping your skin really nice and moisturized. And if you are having a lip filler procedure, lots of lip balm, keep them nice and hydrated. Now with exercise, it's fine to keep exercising up till your treatment. The day of your treatment though, try and avoid doing a heavy workout just before your procedure because that will increase your chances of swelling and bruising. So if you want to just some light exercise the day of, and we'll talk about after in a moment. Now your injector will love you if you can come with a completely clean face, so no makeup. This is for a few reasons. First one, that means as soon as you come in, we can start assessing your face. Second thing, infections. We don't want any of that makeup entering those injection sites because that is a potential for an infection. Third thing, during your procedure, we need to be able to monitor your entire face. Now this is because of that very tiny risk of fillers entering a blood vessel and causing a blockage. So even if we are say treating your lips, we need to be able to monitor the entire face and make sure that there are no complications during your procedure. Now if you do come with makeup, know that we will be removing it prior to your treatment, but it makes the process much smoother if you can come with a lovely clean face. Now, do you experience cold sores? If you get these regularly, there is a chance if you're having a dermal filler procedure to the lips, that the, the treatment itself and the swelling could cause you to have some cold sores. If that's you, obviously letting your injector know prior to your treatment, and we will recommend that you take an antiviral leading up to your treatment and also after your treatment, depending on which one. Some are a one-off, some you take for multiple days, so depending on which one you get. But be prepared that it is best to take that to avoid getting a cold sore outbreak after your treatment. You don't need that on top of swelling and bruising. All right, let's move on to what you need to know about your dermal filler procedure while you're having the procedure. Now, my number one recommendation is do try and relax. Let your injector know if you are feeling nervous or if you are someone who does tend to get faint when there are needles involved. Something I do for my clients is I let them hold on to one of these. 
a squeezy ball. It just gives them something to focus on, something to hold. Um, it, I do find it helps clients to relax. I also offer them water and I always have chocolates and other sugary good goodies here in case you are feeling like you've got low blood sugar we can raise that nice and quickly now you will be provided with numbing options so if you're having a lip filler treatment um, there will be numbing cream involved and know that all the dermal fillers actually contain a numbing agent so after the first few injections the area that we're treating is going nice and numb and keeping you comfortable throughout now it's really important that you are honest with your injector about your medical history, any medications you're taking, any previous treatments you've had, this might be injectables, skin treatments, facial surgeries, because these can have an impact on your treatment and they can determine the way in which we treat you, the products that we use, the outcome and your response on the day as well. On that, it's really important that you are open with your injector about the things that you do and don't like and have that conversation prior to the needles going in your face. So moving on to what you need to know for after your dermal filler procedure. Top things are avoiding alcohol, blood thinning medications, unless they're prescribed, don't stop if they are, and heavy exercise because these things can increase your swelling and bruising and delay your healing time. Now it's important that you keep your face nice and clean. Try and avoid touching it and avoid wearing makeup for at least a few days. Avoid any other skin treatments, facials, massages, saunas for at least a week, preferably two, just let everything settle. Try and sleep on your back. I know it's super hard if you're a side sleeper, but we want to keep that treatment settling really, really well. Use gentle skin products. We don't want you using any scrubs or really strong actives for at least a few days. You can use the Arnica, which I talked about at the start for pre-treatment. You can use the Arnica cream and the Arnica tablets, which are the over-the-counter ones from a chemist to help to reduce bruising if you are quite prone to that. Now, if you've had a lip filler procedure, you probably want to give them a run, but try and avoid kissing for at least a few days until they're settled. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to hit like. Also subscribe for more videos coming up and in the comments, put any questions that you have about dermal fillers or any other procedure in there. And I also want to know if you are a seasoned dermal filler client, I want to know any tips or tricks you have that you do either before, during or after your procedure. Thanks. See you.